Okay, now that we have converted our data file and our control files via a um, from a cooked file system, that means um, Oracle database files that are managed by files by cooked file system. Now we can um, now we, what we need to do is we need to convert our redo log file members, which are still files, by the way, out on the file system. Now, if you recall from the first video in the series, we used RMAN to convert the cooked file system data files and control file to ASM managed data files and control files, i.e., putting them in control of a disk group. Okay, so ASM can um, can manage them. Okay, but we didn't do the redo log files in RMAN. Why? Well, that's because RMAN, which is Recovery Manager, does not know or care what redo log files are. I mean, it knows what they are, but it doesn't care what they are. Okay? If you doesn't matter how you're backing up an Oracle database. This goes back to Oracle Database Backup and Recovery 101. Okay, 101. Okay. Uh, if you're using User Managed Backup and Recovery, that's non-RMAN backups, or if you're using um, RMAN Backup and Recovery, which is um, Server Managed Backup and Recovery, it RMAN you don't use online redo log files. You don't back them up because they're useless. Okay, online redo log files mean nothing when it comes to to media recovery. Okay, um, because redo log files are saved as archive log files, which Rman does manage. Rman doesn't even have a backup online redo log file command because it doesn't even make sense. Okay, there's there, there there's no point to ever whether you use an Rman or non Rman backups. To back up an online redo log file, okay? Because online redo log files just don't play a part in database restoration and recovery. Okay, so we can see that our data files and our control file is now managed by ASM because of the plus D group here. So, but if we type in select member from V dollar sign log file, that's select member from V dollar sign log file, we get a list of our redo log our online redo log files for the finance database. And as you can see, they are all in a database hierarchy, okay, under C colon slash. Okay, so these are still, these online redo log files are still in cooked file systems, okay. And as you can see here for this database, there are three online redo log file groups, each with one member each. So each of these files represent three online redo log file groups. Each of them with one member each. So group one has has one file, redo01.log. Group two has one file, redo02.log, and group three has one file, redo03.log. Okay, so go ahead and type in the following. Let's go ahead and let's convert these log files to ASM managed files. Okay, and we do that by first dropping them. And an easy way to drop is now, um, actually, let me show you this too. Select member group, no, comma group number from V dollar sign log file. Okay, so this right here will, will show you that this file right here is in group one, this file right here is in group two, and this file right here is in group three. Just don't assume because they have the number in one, two, and three. Oracle will let you name them whatever you want. So just don't assume that just because they have the number in one, two, and three in a file name that they're in those groups. Okay, so just you know, double check that with a group um, pound uh, column uh, from the v dollar log file group, um, view, which we did. So let's go ahead and let's drop uh, the first redo log group number one. We do that with the following: alter database drop log file group one. Alter database drop log file group one. So to convert redo log files, you from cooked file systems to ASM, you drop them and then you recreate them, pointing them to ASM. Database altered. So now when we say select member from v dollar sign log file, we only have two and three because we deleted one. So now let's recreate one so it's under ASM control and we do that with a following command: alter database add log file group one parentheses single quote plus d group one slash finance slash redo zero one dot log like so size 10 meg 
Okay, and it's going to create this that that redo log group member in the plus D group one ASM instance. So now when we do a select member from V dollar sign log file, we will see that redo zero one is now under under the control of the plus D group one disk group in ASM. But we still have these files now that we need to put under the, under the control of ASM. So we're going to go ahead and this time we're going to oops. We're going to drop log file group 2. So we're going to type in alter database drop log file group 2. Okay, altered. Okay, group 2 is not there now. So now we do alter database add log file group 2, dgroup1 finance redo02.log. Now when we do a select member from v$log file, we will see that we have two of these redo one, we say so we have redo one, redo two, which are under the control of ASM because because they're in plus D group one. Um, and but we have one file here, redo three, which is still on a cooked file system that we need to convert to ASM. Now, interesting thing. We type in a uh, select group pound comma status from V dollar log we will see that each log, online redo log files have statuses and to get a full complement of um, a full comprehensive um, lecture on redo log files check out my Oracle database internal design and architecture videos on YouTube where I talk about redo log files and also see my my specific redo log file videos okay so redo log files all have statuses now Oracle by default will will require you to have a minimum of two redo log files that's two um, groups with one member each one file each just so it can switch between them okay and then you can multiplex each group with multiple members okay which we're not doing here but that's okay because high availability doesn't really matter in the lab here but in production I always recommend that people multiplex their online redo log files mirror them okay you'll notice that that group three is in the current state Watch what ha is in a current status. Watch what happens when I try to drop group three, just like I did with the other ones. Okay, it says log three is current log for instance. You cannot drop an online redo log file if it's current or active. So you type in alter system archive log current to switch to to switch to log, which creates an archive log. Okay, because we're in we're in uh, archive log mode. Now when you do a select group we'll see that 3 has changed from current to active and now 1 is current because we switched we went from 3 to 1 that's what alter system archive log current does when you switch now and again to learn more about that check out my other videos that, con that, that focus on those points now we do alter database drop log file group 3 won't let you do it because we're inactive okay so Oracle database will not let you drop an online redo log file group if that redo log file group is either current or if that redo log file group or active. So if it's current or active, you can't drop the online redo log file. And to um, make it not active, you can con you can continually you can you can continue to alter switch archive log currents, which could be a waste of uh, space in your archive log file system. So what I usually do is I clear it out with this command alter system checkpoint now 3 is inactive now because it's inactive we can do an alter database drop log file group 3 and we succeed because it was inactive when we issued this command okay and again to see more about that checkpoint command and how that flushes redo log files go ahead and check out my videos that um, are relevant to that okay so now we go ahead and we add our log file group 3 okay redo 03.log so now when we type in select member from v$ log file like so we will see that all three of our online redo log files are now under the control of ASM they're in plus D group 1 now what about your temp file okay now I created a temp file of um, off I created a temp file for this database 
Okay, and if you type in select table space name from, D from DBA table spaces, we will see that we have a temp table space here. And again, to learn more about temp table spaces, check out my temp videos, temp table space videos. And if we type in select file from V$ temp file, like so, oops, sorry, select name from V$ sign temp file, we will see that we have a temp file, temp01.dbf, which is a cooked file system file. It's in C colon slash database slash or data slash finance. So we need to convert that to ASM. How do we do that? Well, we, we can't, we don't delete it. We first add our temp file by typing in the following. Alter table space temp add temp file single quote plus dgroup1 single quote size 10 meg. Table space altered. Now when we type in select name from v$ sign temp file, we will see that we have a temp file now. And there's the command I issued, alter table space temp add temp file, and I just said D plus D group one, and I gave it the size, 10 meg. So ASM will control, okay, what file name it creates for temp. Now what we can do is we can delete the other temp file that's here on the cooked file system, okay? And we do that with the command alter table space temp drop temp file, and uh, I'll be lazy here or efficient, whatever you want to call it. So, now when I do select name from v$ sign temp file, because I dropped from the data dictionary um, the definition of my cooked file system temp file, I now just have the ASM temp file. Okay, so now we just type in shutdown immediate. Okay, shut down our finance database, and I type in startup to start up our finance database. Okay, now select name from v$ sign database, and we confirm we're connected to the finance database. Select name from v$ sign data file. We see that we are totally managed by our data files are totally managed by ASM plus D group one. We select name from v$ control file. We see that our control files are totally a control file is totally managed by ASM plus D group one. We say select member from v$ log file. We'll see that all three of our redo log files, all groups, all groups with one member each, are totally managed by ASM in the plus D group um, disk group. And if we type in select name from v$ temp file, we will see that our temporary file is in D group one for our temp table space managed by ASM. Okay, that's how you convert. Uh, database running on cooked file system to a database running in ASM. Okay, thank you.